a side path up. Let's a go. Like, this almost looked like it could have been one of the green stars, but no. I think they, they did call it green stars, even though they don't look that green to me. They look different, certainly. I can actually walk on that green stuff, so on the side stuff here, so I can't really slide off. They look more like teal stars, but teal stars don't really sound as great as green stars, though green stars always brings back memories of that not quite as good ROM hack. I got a task before Star Road did. What the fuck happened there? enough. Yeah, for, just forget everything. It doesn't actually matter at, at all because we can just do this. Uh, never mind, we can't do that. <laughs> rounded edges, they don't work well in this game. Please don't make rounded edges, guys. They're terrible. They're not fun. So the other star must be around here somewhere then. There seems like to be a different path over there. But let me actually check if it's somewhere around here. What is this for? Yeah, this level does it's not that bad. I wouldn't I wouldn't actually say this is a bad level, but it's a bit of an odd level, I think. Like, I feel like there's some design choices that are a bit off. Like, how you move through this stage and where stuff is supposed to be. Like, I don't actually have any good idea on where the stars are, at least. Oh no, I'm flying sideways. I don't want to go sideways. Got him! I still don't know where the other green star is. Is it only there in like the correct thing? I think you put too much random stuff in here. Yeah, it seems a bit disconnected. But only a little bit. Like it's not a complete chaos or anything. But it does seem a tiny bit disconnected. Maybe the other green star is somewhere around the, this place. I can't actually say exactly though what I would change. I, I, I just say that this is what it feels like. Are we really certain this is nothing? Like this looked, really looks like it should be something. Is this like the water orb? Because we're supposed to find the water orb and collect it. But this does not look like it. What is this? Thanks for the hint, game. Don't, there's no way we do a, a long jump that does that. No, this, this does not work. If we would have either a fly guy or wing cap, that would work. I don't think we can quite make it from up here because it's... Yeah, it's too far under the bridge. I can already tell you it's not going to work. Way too far under the bridge. But interesting. I did not expect to find that with this green plate. No, it's way too far under there to get it with a normal long jump, I think. Even with the, the wall jump at the end. Now I'm really paranoid about looking behind stuff. Like, could there be something? No. <laughs> oh no. I was trying to help me find the uh, secret, but I actually really want to get on with the game. There's a wing cap right there. I told you guys it's wing cap. 
I think actually in general what I don't like is the stage might just be a bit too big. I think that's in general. I think that actually uh, says it. Stage is just in general a tiny bit too big. So a lot of the time I'm just walking around here. Whenever you have a, a level where you're just walking or where you're walking around a lot without actually doing too much gameplay, then you know the level is probably too big. I think this is too big. I'm walking around too much. It's only been an hour since I've started streaming. That's incredible. That's incredible! I want to test something. Just for science. Secret! No, not really. I can know the texture for that thing is just plastered on, but it doesn't actually help me. There's still something I'm really curious about, which is this. Why is this here? Okay, I did that because I had a safe state, otherwise I wouldn't have done that. That's really weird though. Where is the last green star? None of those mushrooms that we've seen it earlier. This guy just tells me a bunch of stuff that's not relevant. I also still don't know how to open that gate. This looks like something. This is where it came from, isn't it? I haven't been over there yet. How did I not go over there once? How did, what, how did that happen? Is hacker like a why is this your thing? Yeah, but actually there's not that many of those in my opinion. There are a few. I think for the most part it's fine. Oh, this totally has to do it. This has to do it. Oh, I just realized I haven't actually gotten the coin star. I guess we can do that. We can do that stuff. Also, there's a lot of glitch shock I don't know if they're glitched or if that's just how they're placed. That might just be how they're placed. So, we need to find wing cap. And then once I have wing cap, I'm gonna come back to this stage. We can also get Vanish Cap for the gate. So yeah, we need Wing Cap and Vanish Cap for this stage. And then once I have that... Wait a second, where did I actually get that? I can't see correctly, but let's try it. Got him! I hope that's a start on there, by the way. Yep, that was correct. So we get Wing Cap, we get Vanish Cap, we come back, we get the 90 coin star as well. Maybe we have the 90 coins, but okay. It, se it didn't seem to me that there was a secret for Wing Cap or Vanish Cap in there. Yeah, maybe not. Maybe not. No secret? What? Who doesn't put a secret behind every waterfall? That's preposterous. Also, I totally get over there. How? Oh, this door probably. Which we just opened with our newfound stores. Stores. What do we have? Oh, this one's better. Need a restraining order? Wait, no, wait, what does it say? Need a relaxing day. Some red stuff. Toad off. Bell. What's Red City? I guess that's the name of this thing. What's Red City? Snowflower view. A short ride. How short? Are we already there? That would be a short ride. Tired of something, yeah, I don't know what. Something went wrong with those signs, you know? Some of them work fine, but some of them really don't work fine. But he put a lot of work in a lot of work and effort into this hack, so you can be sure that everything that doesn't quite work 
isn't like that because he was lazy, but probably like that because he just couldn't figure out how to do it correctly. Or it would have been way too much work to do for like someone who just wants to make a fucking hack. That's fun and interesting. View of the city. That's exactly what I think it said. This is probably gonna be a star, right? Wait, did I actually. Did I down? What? There's more than two. Bunga solution of texture. Yeah, probably. Wonder why I didn't. It seems like you could just change the texture, but there might have been a different problem there. Actually, fair certain there's a different problem there because if it was just changing the resolution of the picture, he would have done it. I like some of the imagery, like the. Uh, this like moon symbol has appeared multiple times now. Like, it seems like, oh my god, there's like things that are in this game that belong together because they're like part of the same mythos, which is the world of this game. Okay, never mind then. I'm dead! I'm not de I'm dead! Oh no. Mamma mia, my ass. Right back in there. We all, we were like halfway there already? To something. What's that? Is that a coin up there actually? Where? Depth perception is always something that's bad in, my, in Super 64 games. Yeah, not the only one that says that. Like, Simple Flips also says that. Like, depth perception? And then last two Mario 64 contexts. It's not that simple. Okay, activate these two again in case you find the other one. Which might actually be up there. This stage so far is alright, I think. I haven't seen too much from it. Oh my god, if you know what you're doing, making an alright hack is actually not that that hard. But making a really good hack, that's really hard. And you would be surprised how easy it is to make something absolutely god-awful. Just go to SM64 hacks and just play anything randomly from the list. And you'll probably find something really awful. I only found another one there. It's yellow. You can you can unpress these switches as well if you land on them twice. So I just need to make sure I don't accidentally depress them right away. This is just a star. I was hoping there'd be something else cool up there. I guess the stage is pretty cool so far. Once again, rain goes sideways. I mean, we're in a snow snowy area. Could have just been snow actually. It wouldn't have to be snow. It wouldn't have to be. Um, Rain, I mean. I don't actually notice rain textures or snow textures that much anymore, mostly because of Releasio. Once you play Releasio, you start to ignore snow textures. <laughs> you can't see them anymore after a while. Sixty-four coins, that's perfect. Do we even want to go over here? It seems like there were more fun places to the other side. I actually really think the music for this hack is original. I can't place a lot of these these sounds at all. Then again, I might just it might just randomly use a lot of uh, songs that I just haven't heard yet. Shell! I didn't mean to get a shell. Actually, I want to test something. Got him! Got him! We're gonna get the United Coin Star and then we're gonna get that thing. United Coin Star is this one! 
I like how many coins you get in this in the sack so far at least. Seems pretty nice. So I haven't actually like I said, why, why is it 90? Why not go why not make it a lot less coins and then just do 80 coins? Or if you have this many coins, just go for the hundred anyway. I have to say that this is the second time that's actually there's a star for just jumping over a handful of flip swaps, which I think is a bit odd. But why not? As flip jumping over flip swaps is something that we're gonna have to do a lot for some of these stars, maybe. Always kick to make sure that flip swap actually has time doing stuff. Also, whenever you kick, you get to do a double jump right afterwards, meaning you can just keep double jumping and keeping yourself in the air. Really nice that this movement exists. And without without being able to do double jump kicks, flip swaps would be really stupid to deal with, in my opinion. But being able to do just what I did there makes flip swaps a lot nicer to deal with. I still need to figure out what a short ride is. I mean, I had a short ride last time. Not short enough, I guess. They wouldn't put a thing behind this waterfall because it's, a, it's frozen, it's an ice fall. You don't put objects behind an ice fall. Everyone knows that. Okay, I guess I actually need to destroy the shell and get back up there. Oh, so we totally got on here, right? Like, this is what the shell is for. There must be something around here. You can totally get by doing this, right? Right? Oh shit, I've been betrayed. I've been betrayed. I've been betrayed. Okay, we can save this somehow. I never die. I merely have setbacks. Of the temporary variety. Where is this? No, it's somewhere different because the music has changed. Also 7, TM. Harry Potter 7. Are we not just on top of the stage? Yeah, we're on top of the stage. Why is the music different? Also, red blue coins. I mean, it, it said short ride. Oh, oh, the music changed again. That's pretty good. It said short ride, so I assumed that it was on this shell and it would be close by. But then it could also be down there, in this chasm. I wonder if this is a sarcasm. Yeah, don't worry guys, don't have to get me out of this chasm. Jeez, it's pretty fun down here, eh? No, don't. That's one of those, eh? And what do we actually do here? Starting to run out of places to go. This over there looks promising. I've already seen another one of those, so we have two of those. Where was the other one, by the way? Was it on top of that thing, that hill over there? So, in case I find the other one, I want to be able to get the star. That's where it is. It was on top of that hill. You could actually change the music without changing the area. Yes, indeed. Um, I, f I thought the original Mario did that somewhere. I'm not sure where though, but yeah, it's possible. Actually, no, I don't think the original Mario did it somewhere. I'm bad. Whatever, we can just go back out again, I guess. I mean, you can see that there's stuff up there as well. Just can't get to it right now. We could get to it maybe from over there. Looks a bit suspicious. Nope. Oh, this is okay, this is the. You got me there. This is definitely a guess, shock here. Yeah. Yep. Nothing else to see though. Oh, this is it. I found it. I found it.
Let's just do that, eh? Oh, never mind. Just do that, eh? Oh, whoa, whoa. Careful there. Oh, this is going to make me slide off. Don't slide off. Good. And this ledge over there, you can't stand on that. I'm pretty sure you can't stand on that. I'm pretty sure it would slide you off. Something you might never actually realize if you just play Super Mario 64, you don't compare it with other games. That Super Mario 64 is a very orthogonal game. Like everything in Super Mario 64 has like right angles. Everything is right angles or 45 degree angles. Everything is angled like that. Like everything's either flat or here's a wall, a 90 degree angle. And that's deliberate so the uh, physics work out correctly. And you see that if you have a stage that doesn't follow that correctly, stuff gets really weird with the physics. So I don't see around the edges too much. Thank fuck you don't. Oh. I didn't actually expect that I had to wall jump there, so I didn't actually get ready for it. And I was like, oh shit, wall, what? That was my reaction. Like, that exactly was my reaction. Can I actually just jump to that from here? I totally can. And fall. No, you don't take fall damage because this is still snow. Doesn't it take some interesting coding to get actually rid of that property? Like if you say that a stage is like a snow stage, then everything is snow. I don't actually know how to uh, get rid of that property correctly. So if I just do a better triple jump, we totally can do that. This was terrible. And I'm terrible. But we still alive. We're still alive! Good job. Good job, Mario. Is he even Mario? Actually, I think he's still Mario. He looks a bit different. And I... Whoop, okay, there we go. He looks just a bit different. But I think he's still Mario. Seven HP is the same as eight HP. So... For purpose of what I'm doing right here, at least with playing with fire and stuff that burns you. Yeah, why did I actually do that? He's not Mario, who else? Mike? We don't know? Unless he actually tells us who he is, we don't know, he could be Mike. Mike Morheim? Come back to uh, do some platforming. Oh no, he's Mario, probably. This part here is actually that hard, I think. I'm just not lining up correctly. Yeah. Although, well, can we just kill this Chuck here? We killed us! Never mind. We're fucking in there. Takes more than that to kill us. Whoa, whoa, whoa. That was a lot of speed from that. Has he done some speed today? He's Mortimer. That could be good. Oh, okay. There we go. All you have to do when you're faced with a Chakya is you just have to do a, uh, a sidewards jump and they're like, whoa, and they go past you. They do exactly that, by the way. They do whoa. How am I this bad? No, try again. Oh my god, how am I not burned? Am I really the unburned? The unburned! You can't burn me! Try it! That's a good platform. Oh shit, what are you- I can't jump! I can't jump, I can't jump! Okay, we could jump- No, we could- Why is this so fast? I'm dead! Okay, I'm not dead. Why did you do that? Uh, no. I can't jump on that thing. Okay, this is this is this is this is different. This is this is this is not okay. This is not okay. This 
it's okay. It was totally fine. What is this? Is this a sprite of... Oh my god, I fucking know this sprite. Why can I not remember the name? I almost want to say some Togen, but I actually don't think it's a Togen. Because oh, someone totally just messaged me. I'm not Daenerys. Oh, maybe I am Daenerys. No, I'm not Daenerys. I'm way more interesting as a character than Daenerys. Fucking Christ, I hate her. Anyway, I just got fucking messaged. Let me check that message. And because I needed some window capture, I just need to do this. Okay, never mind. It was nothing. I need to watch out with my messages because I... I am actually moving on the 15th of August, or maybe even a day later, but on the 15th of August I'm moving. Like from here, where I'm living right now, I'm gonna move, and I'm gonna move to uh, here. And from this spot it actually plays a lot differently, and you're gonna see that the audio is also a lot different from this spot. But I'm not doing that today, I'm doing that on the 15th of August. Side cave sh what's the side cave? Oh, I have an idea. Oh, I totally have an idea what that is. Hopefully, the move won't actually do anything and I'm just gonna be able to stream anyway. Like, I might be able to stream the same day, maybe even the next day, I don't know. So I totally know where the side cave is. Can't hide the side caves from me! It's totally somewhere down here. Fire! Yeah, it's definitely down here, otherwise it wouldn't be fire. Hello, side cave. I like it. You can probably do that. I could get fairly close to that from the top. Maybe you can even do that without the shell, but just taking some damage. Probably can, actually. I'm, I'm moving to a different apartment, yeah. It's not gonna look too much different from this one. Like, right now, I'm in a really cramped room. Okay, vanish cap. I'm in a really cramped, a cramped room, not a whole lot of space in it, and the new room is pretty much exactly the same, so you're not gonna see a whole lot of difference. Okay, now I have 20 stars, can this be the next, oh, this is the next area. I need Vanish Cap and Wing Cap. Why is it every single time I play a ROM hack, that's well done, I can't fucking find the caps. Wing Cap? Does this mean we're gonna get the Wing Cap in this stage? I mean, it's an airport, we're hopefully gonna get the wing cap in this stage. I'm getting more and more certain of the uh, music for this hack is original because I don't even remember any of, uh, any of these songs from any other game, not even remotely. It is weird because a lot of people always ask for hacks that have original music in them. Oh, here comes another sign. Come on! Oh, wait, I think I've already had that. Yeah, with Wild Town. And 207 coins. Does that mean that I actually are 207 coins in that first stage? Second stage, actually. It kind of is the first thing. Like the fountain? We had a really weird texture to it. Oh, do you see this, this fucking glass thin? Waterfall. If I had Vanish Cap, I could probably actually not fall down there. I don't actually think you can fall through stuff with Vanish Cap. I think you can only walk through stuff. What is this? Chakya! I am amazed at that actually surprising me because I should have totally seen that coming. Also interesting trees. I actually like it when people get a bit more interesting with their designs on stuff. How did I not actually get the star? I totally bumped into the thing, didn't I? Oh, Rain, you weren't here for Star Revenge 2 Act 1 because that game also hit all sorts of enemies in that thing. Like You would open uh, a chest like a thing like that and there would be like fucking bob in there, like that, and I'm gonna take a hit? No, nope. bob are weak. It's 
Just bump into it from the side. It's really fun. I like the idea with the uh, three blue star, green, green stars. They're blue stars. Come on, they're totally blue stars or teal stars, but not green stars. I don't know why they call, keep calling them that. Slanted. Oh, go on a mountain, climb adventure at Burning Glacier. Oh my god, I don't know if I want to climb a burning glacier. This doesn't sound safe. Actually, anything in, is anything in this game even safe? It's just like, this is supposed to be a vacation or a holiday resort. Got enemies in there. Well, I guess unless you want to go hunting, I guess. In that case, it's actually a pretty good resort. Or maybe it's a resort that's made specifically for Mario. In that case, it's actually pretty well done. So we would need to get up that sky high tower because that's probably where the wind cap is. I can see it. Totally makes sense thematically as well. We have like a sky high tower at the top of it. Wing cap. This is totally not Al Delfino, by the way. Just a complete coincidence. This is Mushroom Fall today. Free tours every hour. I didn't get a free tour. Well, like, then I'm gonna have been on here for an hour. Look at anti wall jump. Can't do shit to me. No, I could have done that. Something's very wrong with that grate. I don't actually know. Anti-wall jump cannot stop me. <laughs> Anti-wall jump. Try me, game. I can wreck your ass. Uh, yeah. I'm good. Also, what is this? Is this the world's most ineffective maze? Because you can just jump over everything instantly. Is that a fake star? I need to try that out. Actually, I don't need to try that out. Because I just... I just activated two plates. So, it's the third one, you know? If they're even out third with plates, I'd be more than three. Might also be another one of those blueprint stars. It's the last one, probably. There's another one! I've already gotten like... Four. Uh, you know how much four is? It's a big number. Must be right around right, right here. What's the other one? Did I miss it? By the way, it's over there. It's totally a water slide. Is it below there somewhere? Like, is it on another place where I'm not at? Like, how do I know that all of them are up here? Could be somewhere else. Could be one over there. I don't know. I assume they would be all up here. That's just me assuming. We have to go for the world's most ineffective maze, actually. Just maybe they actually hit some stuff. You know, this game is all about. Oh, do you see our wonders? Four is a lot. There are Indo tribes that can't count to four. I can count to five, though. Yes, I had to skip four. They don't believe in it. They're like a mister. Four is a bad number. That was totally a blueprint star. Hedge maze delphin. They totally called. I was all this time. I thought they were just like, oh, it's like Isle Delfino, but it's not real Isle Delfino. It's like similar idea, but no, they just went ahead and said, oh, Isle Delfino. Oh, this is shit, man. All the way in there, Delfino. Here we go. Hey, at least they can. At least those traps can count to eight. Something that French people can't do. So... What is this? 
apply Sunset City 2.30 p.m. on time. Burning Glacier 4.20... Oh, of course the Burning Glacier is 4.20. Amazing, man. Skywater Abyss 11.15 arriving. Gale Sky Station delayed. Hello, can I... can I... can I light your fire? TM. Oh, it's 33 coins. This is... is this actually a thing? Can I actually pay 33 coins here to go to a specific stage? There's no way. Give you one coin off coupon. Oh, that's pretty good. I don't know why I say state there. This is pretty pointless. If coins are actually worth something, why are they just lying around on the ground then? Mm. Hey, what is this? It vanished cap somewhere. Some people have bought a ticket and got the boarding strip. Or anything, I don't really know. No, I don't want to get through it. <laughs> yeah, okay, maybe not then. Same here. Probably have to do it from the other side. Like, I'm over there, get a vanish cap, pass through this barrier, and then come back around here and get that star. Okay, so we still have to get the wing cap. Or the vanish cap. Either cap. Metal cap. I, I'll take that one as well. Just get any cap. I always want to get caps. So. Because I always want to be capped on caps. Shoot me now. How am I missing all these caps already? Like, sh certainly I'm not supposed to already have them, right? Or maybe I could have them, but I don't have them right now, so. I guess we're just going for coins if I can even get 90 coins without having any cap. Or 33 coins at least. Get 33 coins. It's good enough. Hopefully. He's not gonna lie to us, is he? I should play Fallout then. So many caps. I always run out of things to do with my caps. Let's gate there. Is the, are these boxes for Nod? What's the point of these boxes? It's decoration. How is everything here? Not anything that I can do stuff with. Is that... what was that? Oh, he's basically looking for the next room. Cool. Must be a bunch of coins. The reason why he placed the uh, box high up there is probably so that you can't just do single jump, break it, double jump, and then collect all the coins at once. And he wants you to actually collect them as they fall down. No cheesing. Not really cheesing, but you know. Put the cast in the ice and fire stages? Maybe, but I need an orb for that, so I guess I need to keep playing them. I hope that was all of them, because it might have actually just naturally ended at the end there. I put good enough on coins though. There's a bunch of coins and enemies on the lake, so... <laughs> I really hope that there's at least something else I can do in the stage right now, because it would be really stupid if I really can't do anything else in the stage right now and I'm actually done with the stage already. That would be bad game this time, because this stage was like... Natu like it naturally guided me towards the stage. Also, they po totally put a butterfly in there. So this was a bob bomb, right? Which is all I need. No, co Good enough. Chuck me! No, Chuck you! Chuck you! Okay, don't actually throw this guy off because I want his coins. Here we go. There goes sound again. I actually think that's everything you can do in this stage. Get up there, but requires ice cap. Nope. 
Um, hmm. That's a bit odd, if I do say so myself. Well, that's another door we can open with this, with this many stars, so we can keep playing at least. I think it's at something about, like, 30 stars for the first one? Oh, this one. No, this was 30. Oh, it's been one and a half hours and Polygon Trainer isn't here, but Polygon Trainer actually recently said he had trouble watching streams. Two or more stars. Or... I just saw something incredible. Huh. I think I can get to the rocket. I think I can do that. What the f? I'm trying to get to that one thing up there. Mips, what are you doing here? Get in my arms. I'm trying to hide. Okay, give me the stuff. Huh? He didn't even try to run. He was just hiding, I guess. Mips, of course, named after the one of the uh, chips used on the N64. Not quiet. Nope, that was a bonk. Nope. I need to do this in a very specific spot, probably do more from over here. Nope, not quiet. I can totally do that. I need actually need to hit it on this side. Nope, not that side. Being on the wrong side all the time. That one, and then land on top of it. That could work. Huh. Should I actually get some health? Five is what I need. That's what, so I have two falling damage? Unless actually that's a different way of getting up there. Oh, this looks good actually. Can't see the other wall. Good enough. Oh, this isn't high enough. This is not high enough. At all. No, you can't make this jump. Way too far off. I actually think there's another way of getting up there. Walls over there, not good enough. I could get on the yellow thing up there, but I don't think that could work. No. I think there's probably a flight cap somewhere that you're supposed to fly up there with. But man, this looks possible. This looks so possible. It's weird, but I think it's possible. Side. But I can't bonk like that. This might actually be good. Oh my god. No! I need to get to the left side of that so I can jump around. Yeah, Mrs. was not doing a good job at all. Nope. Oh my god, enter for totally real fun. Nice! I was correct that I can't go in here. Why did I not stop myself? Another try in here. Surely we can get an orb, right? Like I know this is key, but come on. You need an orb for 26 more stars. What if I've not gotten an orb yet? PJ is gonna love this game. 
He's not gonna play the game because PJ doesn't play it SMC for Romex, but he would like he would love this game because PJ is really into orbs. He's really big into orbs. It's a thing was PJ. Oh no, maybe it was Fiesel actually. Either of those two. Really into orbs. Orbs are very important. So what do we actually do now? Kochia Falls needed Wing Cap and Vanish Cap, I think. We were done with that one. That needed um Wing cap? Oh, that one needed Vanish cap. This one needed a bunch of caps. Huh. This one needed Wing cap, yeah. And Vanish cap, both. Oh my god, it needs so many. There must be a way to get a cap right now. I just can't believe anything else right now. How many was this? Okay, orb on 26 more stars. Like, it seems like a lot of these stars in here are right now are like 50 stars or an orb. <sighs> I saw something that looked like it could be the water orb in one of those stages, but it really wasn't the water orb. That's a bit weird. That's actually really weird. And there must be a. One of the wing, one of the cap stages must be already somewhere in one of these stages, but I haven't seen it. It's the only thing I can think of right now that I've missed the cap stages. I think there was something up there. Air in the trees. I think there was anything else up there, right? Go up there again. No, it wouldn't make it go make it go up there twice, right? I don't think there was anything else in this stage. So I thought it was very fair with this stage, huh? And it's really weird that you have this stage over here. The only the uh, most advanced stage I've unlocked so far, and I can't do anything in here, right? There's no way all four of these take caps. No way. Or maybe some of them need you need to be in the star room for. If there's a star here where you have to be in the correct act in order to uh, do the star. That could be a thing because I can't actually clear the first act right now because it requires wind cap. This would never work anyway. This pipe is pretty weird. There we just have to wing cap. Oh, I just saw something. And it could be... Wait, did I not go in there yet? Did I not go in that pipe over there ever? No, because I didn't see it. How am I gonna get up there? Ah, that's how. Come on, wing cap! Come on, wing cap. Wing cap. 